Hello everyone, Ian Earl, aka Senior Everything here, with a new installment of a new series uh, called The Issues, which is essentially, and I've been wanting to do this for a while now, I just, I haven't had a good opportunity, you know, they've been so, there have been so much other stuff that I've wanted to put out, um, and this video is essentially, in this series is about where I take three stories from the past week, three to five, and I just... And I talk about them. You know, it's kind of like a low-budget diet, Philip DeFranco. It's uh, it's a lot shorter, and I think you guys are really going to like it. So, to start off with, uh, I think you guys can already tell what this is going to be about. And that is the Rice Gum and iDubbbz Content Cop Beef. So, uh, iDubbbz released this video called Content Cop uh, Jake Paul. But it's, as most people know, it's not about Jake Paul. It's about Rice Gum. And... You know, Rice Gum was very upset. He's new to YouTube. This is really his first major experience to massive and very, very, like, dramatized hate. And um, and I think one thing that makes it all the worse for him is that when iDubbbz does it, he goes for the throat. You know, like, you're not talking about, you're not talking about the usual everyday whiny pyro cynical video where he just, he mocks people, but not really. You know, like... When iDubbbz does it, he's he's intense. Like, he goes for the throat. Um, uh, so he was upset, uh, obviously. And so far, he's made three videos about this one video, and another one's coming. A diss track, I guess. Um, yeah, so if we just pull Rice Gum. Anyway, so if we just pull up Rice Gum, he, um... He started out with the reaction, which was a two-minute video, essentially talking about how he's not going to cover it for a while, because he needs time to think about it. Um, then the response, then the, uh, then the announcement of a diss track, and then the coming diss track. So, yeah, this is... Rice Gum's very set on this. He really wants to get his opinion out there. And honestly, I watched his response, and it's not that bad. He actually refutes a lot of the things that Idub says... Um, I mean, I thought, unusual, usual, usually, when iDubbbz releases a content cop, people either don't respond or they do it very, very half-assed. But this one, I think, is actually very good. It's very well done. They're both very quality videos, which is something that I would not expect from RiceCum. So, go watch them both if you have any free time. Okay, so that was story number one, and then story number two is something that I'm sure you guys have heard about, and that is the, uh... Casey Neistat video. Oops. Nope. Okay. Oops. All right. It's bringing the uh, it's bringing the prologue back up. Oops. Did not did not mean for that to happen. Okay. Anyway, so Casey releases this video called uh, what is it? Hold up. Let's help the victims of the Las Vegas attack. Also, sorry for that break there. I accidentally press end video um end recording. Anyway, so. Casey, he makes this video, and the whole thing is essentially a charity thing for Las Vegas. You know, the insanely awful attack that happened there. And essentially, in the video, he's saying, like, you know, he's talking about how he made a GoFundMe for it, which has already reached, I think, over $300,000. Don't quote me on that. It may, uh, I know it's around there. It's like two hundred fifty to 300000 Um, And then he also made a, um, and then in the video, he said... All the ad cents and ad money from this video, all the ad revenue is going to help them as well. So, this whole thing is just a charity video. And, you know, the, he doesn't show any pictures, any graphic, anything. He just, he talks about it and he talks about how much he, they, people need to help. And it's, monet, and the monetization has been restricted. Essentially taken off. It's demonetized. Which means that all that ad money doesn't exist. Because there's no ads. Because YouTube decided that advertisers wouldn't want to put their ads on something about the Las Vegas attack. So anyway, Casey takes to Twitter. He's really upset, very understandably. And YouTube actually responds for once in their life. And they say... They, they essentially... It boils down to, you know, we understand what you're trying to do, but it goes against our terms of service to put ads on any tragedy videos. So, you know, kind of a bummer. But, I mean, you know, it's their terms of service, you know? They wouldn't go against that, or would they? And this is where the second half of the story really picks up. Um, they actually, on this Jimmy Kimmel video, about the exact same thing. 
like literally a video talking about the exact same thing. It's got Las Vegas in the title. Let me pull it up. Come on. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go down here. Anyway, so videos. He makes this video about the exact same thing about the Las Vegas attack. And guess what? Can't guess what? That's okay. I'll do it for you. I'm just gonna hold up. What the heck? It's not. No, oh, I don't even see it. He may have just deleted it. Here we go. Here we go. So this video. I'm not joking with you here. Video on the exact same thing has ads on it. And I'm not gonna waste time trying to get it to load, but it has it has ads on it. So the main thing is, what the fuck? You know? Like your terms of first service said no ads whatsoever on videos like this, and here there are ads. It's essentially YouTube being selective with how the rules work. So this made people really, really upset. This isn't the first time that YouTube is new to controversy. And you know what? This is my opinion on it. People are going to get fed up. People are going to get done. You know, YouTube, you've made so many mistakes in the past. You had that thing with deleting subscribers. You had that You had that adpocalypse, which was insane. And you just, you just had so many things wrong with you. And I think people, and I think people still go to YouTube because they think there's nothing else. Um, except Vimeo, but no one uses Vimeo. Um, but eventually, someone's gonna come up with a new streaming service, and people are gonna get on board. No one's gonna go for this, because YouTube, people are done. People are done with your crap. People are done with your shit. Really? Okay, so just... They, they need, they really need to get their shit together, because this is... This is... This is... Awful, just how many things are wrong, and how many shady things are going on at YouTube HQ. Um... So anyway, that's this that's uh that's the second story. And then the last story isn't so much of a story as it is like an announcement. And that is me just wanting to reach out and talk about the Las Vegas mass shooting. Um you know, I already mentioned it in here. And honestly, it's just it's it's awful. It's it's saddening that this 64-year-old man would do this. Um and I just, I want to reach out and say how sorry I am to everyone who has, who's been affected by this. So, I'm sorry. Uh, I, um, and I, and I'm, the, the main thing that I want to bring up in saying, in talking about this, is just how grateful I am for how much support has been channeled into Las Vegas. So, you know, like, you have so many people reaching out and helping. It's, it's amazing. So, really, I guess it's just a celebration of how much we can come together and help and help a group of people in a time of need. Um, yeah, and I, uh, sorry, sorry for the uh, extra crunching. I'm walking around outside, you know, you know, it helps me think when I'm making these videos. Um, hopefully the audio quality is not too bad since I'm outside, but, uh, anyway. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna end it here. New segment. It's gonna be great. Thanks for watching the first video. And remember, if it ain't seen your everything, it ain't anything. Bye.